Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that US and European stocks have rallied overnight. US stocks up around about 0.5% in late trade. Now that's the best start for stocks for the year since 1987. We saw profits from Bank of America and the lowest jobless claims in the United States in four years. Also European stocks up between 1 and 2%. This is after good auctions of French and Italian bonds overnight. Remember the European debt crisis is the key thing there. Yields in both auctions fell. The French two-year bond yield fell to 1.05% from 1.58% in October. And the Spanish 10-year bond yield, and this is important because it's so long, that fell to 5.4% from 6.97% in November. Remember, 7% is seen as a dangerous threshold. It seems that the European Central Bank's massive lending to banks just before Christmas, the long-term refinancing operation it's called, the LTRO, seems to be working to stabilise banks and bond markets. Commerce Bank, the German bank, also reassured investors that it wouldn't need a bailout from the government and that helped boost stocks. Also bolstering markets is news from China that it's loosening lending rules. Big banks will be able to increase loans by 5%. And the risk weighting for small business loans in China, that rule is being relaxed as well. Brazil also cut its key rate by half a percent to 10.5%. And there's talk of another rate cut in Australia. Their jobs fell by 29,300 in December. And all through 2011, there were actually a fall of 100 jobs in Australia. That's the worst performance in the Australian jobs market in 20 years. The Reserve Bank of Australia is expected to cut its rate next month. The New Zealand dollar, even though we normally see it rise when stock markets rise, it's still relatively firm at about 80 US cents. It hasn't risen much overnight. And that's because of the big fall yesterday after very weak inflation figures. New Zealand's interest rate seen on hold until well into late this year, possibly early next year. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 Seconds at 9 o'clock, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand.